Okay, damp fans, let me show you one that had us shaking our heads this week. We were called out to investigate a damp issue at a property originally built in the 17th century. Now, this isn't your standard house. It's part of a well-known estate. The owners were dealing with damp patches on a couple of external walls, and another damp company has already been in to take a look. Their verdict, rising damp, their solution, tanking. Yep, you heard that right, tanking in a 17th century building. Now, if you've been following us for a while, you'll know how wrong that is. Applying modern tanking systems to a breathable historic wall doesn't fix the problem, it just hides it and pushes it somewhere else. And that's exactly what's happened here. The moisture didn't disappear, it just got trapped behind a tanking. And when it failed and started to show higher up, the company came back and applied even more tanking, but higher up. What they missed entirely was the actual cause, a leaking downpipe directly behind the affected walls. Water was penetrating in through gaps in the external pointing, which had failed over time. Now the fix, it's really simple. Repair the downpipe, repoint externally using a traditional line mortar. Inside, well, we've now got the, uh, I suppose, difficult job of trying to remove all of the damage that they've caused and strip off as much tanking as possible and reinstate the walls properly using traditional line plaster. And this is a perfect example of why modern methods and historic buildings do not mix. Get a diagnosis wrong and the cure will only make things worse. Always understand the building first, then treat the cause, not the symptoms.